Stay all day. You are now tuned into the show where you learn the discipline to show up day after day to do the work, the confidence to put yourself out there boldly and authentically, and the mental toughness to continue showing up, doing the work, putting yourself out there even when the success you've expected to achieve has yet to be achieved. And on top of all this, you get a huge dose of personal initiative. That is the go-getter energy that moves any one of us, including yourself, to go and make things happen instead of waiting for things to happen. And then we put all this together into a series of frameworks, approaches, insights, strategies, and techniques all underneath the umbrella of one unifying philosophy that is called work on your game. My name is Dre Baldwin, also known as Dre All Day, and welcome to the show. And today's topic is how to put personality into your content. Now, before we get into this, I'm going to tell everybody that I have a daily motivation text message that I send out free of charge to everyone who is in my text community. You would like to receive this message every morning. It's guaranteed to keep you focused, sharp, and on point. All you got to do is text me at my number, which is 305-384-6894. And every day when I send out that daily motivation message, you will be receiving it. Second thing I need you to know is that if you have not yet claimed your free copy of my book called The Mirror of Motivation, The Self-Guide to Self-Discipline, this book is all about how you show up and be the person who you need to be so you can do what you need to do and have what you want to have in life. If you have not yet asked yourself that series of questions, and I got a, this is a 88 chapter book, they're short chapters, but in this book, it's about 100 or so pages, 88 chapters in this book, might be 90 chapters, but it's a lot of chapters. That book will help you answer this question consistently. Who do I need to be as a person so I can do what I need to do and have what I want to have in life? I'll give you the book free. Just cover the shipping. Go to mirrorofmotivation.com. And the third thing, if you are a business professional who is serious about making more money in your business, and you would like to do it in a way that does not require you to work 10 times harder or run yourself into the pavement in the process, I got a free training that will tell you exactly how it's done. Go to workonyourgame.net. If you are interested in being coached by me, if you're interested in joining Work On Your Game University and working with me directly, the only way to do it is to go to workonyourgame.net, watch that free training at the end of that 45 minute training. There's a button that's gonna pop up that allow you to schedule a time to get on the call with me. There we will talk about where you're at, where you wanna go, how I could possibly help, if I can help, if I can't help, I'll let you know that as well. And then we'll talk about what that will look like, how it will work and what we can do moving forward. Again, that's at workonyourgame.net. Net. So with all that said, let's get into the topic here today, which is how to put personality into your content. Now, this subject today is specifically directed at the people who are in the thought leadership space. However, if you are not in the thought leadership space, do not turn this off. Keep listening to this episode because what I'm going to share here today is you're going to be able to get some good ideas out of this, even if you're not in the thought leadership space, because the things that I'm going to share a lot of these are principles here and these principles apply to anyone across the board you might have to think a little bit just to translate them from what i'm discussing to where you're at but i want everybody to listen to this and understand every episode of the show even if it's not directly directed directed specifically at what you do uh, for a living that day <coughs> most of my material is directed at everybody but anything that's specific to an audience you can still learn from it even if i'm not talking to you so if i'm talking to athletes and you're not an athlete still listen if I'm talking to business owners, you're not a business owner, still listen. If I'm talking about mindset, and mindset's not your biggest thing right now, still listen, okay? So in case any of you ever had that question, still listen to the show. Because I'm gonna share why, I'm gonna share some of what I do and why I do it, and you may notice some of what it what it is and why it works. And remember, you can always get good ideas from things that are not directly related to what you do. I actually got a lot of my best ideas that things were that were not specifically made for what I was doing because you would be doing something that most of your competitors are not doing because most of your competitors are getting their information in a straight line just from other people who are talking about the same thing that you do but if you're getting your stuff from other places you can come with the creativity that they don't have so with that said hopefully I've sold you on the concept of listening to the rest of what I'm gonna say here today because that's what I'm about to do let's get to it point number one the topic once again is how to put personality into your content. Point number one, don't talk only about your topic, whatever your topic happens to be. So if your topic is basketball, or your topic is mindset, or your topic is business, or your topic is underwater basket weaving, do not only talk about that topic. Especially, again, these are, I'm talking to the thought leaders here. So those of you who are in the thought leadership space, meaning you do something, you sell your intellectual property on some level, that's thought leadership. 
You're selling your intellectual property. In other words, the things that you think and the things that you believe and the things that you understand and you articulate them and people pay you for that in some form. Books, courses, speaking, coaching, etc. Those kind of things, consultations. People want to know what you think. Yes, they want to know what you think. Yes, they want to know what you think about your subject specifically, but they also want to know what you think, period. Why? Because they're already paying for your knowledge, so they want to know what else you think. What else, what else is going on in your head? They don't just want to know about the stuff that you sell. Keep in mind that nobody in your audience thinks about the stuff that you sell as much as you think about the stuff that you sell. You're the only one who thinks about it every day. They don't think about it every day. Because you're the one selling it every day. All right, they might consume it, but they're not always thinking deeply about it the way that you do. But the people who buy from you, they're not giving you money every single day. All right, they think about that thing when they need to, but they are still interested in your thoughts as a person, especially when you're a thought leader, because there are other things going on in their lives and other things going on in their minds besides just the thing that they got from you. They got other stuff going on. Other people have families, like they go to the gym, they work out, they brush their teeth, they eat dinner, they eat lunch, they eat breakfast, they spend time with family, they have friends, they do other things besides whatever they're doing with you as far as the business transactions go. Everybody follow me? So if you follow my material, you'll notice that I talk about current events, I talk about social issues, I talk about my opinions on certain topics, and the reason that I do that is not to be sensational. I do it because these things are actually on my mind. These are things that I actually think about. I don't come up, I don't say, hmm, what current event can I talk about just so I have some material for my audience? I don't do that. Because I don't need to do that. If you look at the material on my you look at the material on this show right here. You just look at let's just look at the last <clears throat> 20 or so episodes of this show. I talked about tightening up entrepreneur versus pro athlete, how people agree with me on many topics except race, how to defeat the habit of drifting, why the dictionary matters, the law of attraction, inequalities that don't get discussed, quiet quitting, do you want to be average or exceptional, truth is truth, bullshit is bullshit, how to be consistent when consistency is not working, why spend more money for higher quality stuff, why we need more masculinity, uh, someone just trying to get attention is a, a dumb criticism, how to feel when you have the right coach, compare and despair, all these things that I'm talking about, many of these are evergreen topics. So I don't, I'm not longing for ideas. All right, the last thing that I need is more ideas. I got almost 2,400 episodes of this show every single day since 2016. I don't need to uh, search for ideas. I got plenty of them. The reason why I talk about social issues and you no know, current events and things that are happening in everyday life right now, any of you who's on my, any, any of my email lists, you read the articles that I wrote about. I wrote articles about, um, uh, the Kanye West situation I wrote about, I wrote the Kyrie Irving situation. By the time you are hearing this, those things are you know, relatively old in the way things turn around these days. But I wrote about those things because they're actually on my mind. These are things that I'm actually paying attention to and I actually have a real opinion on these things. I'm not saying it because, oh, I need content for my um, audience. No, but because I have an audience, I share those, I share my thoughts on those topics with you because I think people in my audience want to know what I think about these things. And I'm the type of person who has built my brand on letting you all understand, I will talk about any subject and I will talk about those subjects in a real way. And I know that not everybody's going to agree with me on those top subjects and I'm completely okay with that. I'm okay with the fact that everybody's not going to agree with me on these topics. And I hope that I have uh, built an audience of people who are uh, independent thinking enough, critically thinking enough and mature enough that even if I talk about a subject in a way in which you do not agree with me, that doesn't mean you're going to just say, well, you know what? I don't want to listen to anything Dre ever says ever again, because I, I agree with you on a hundred topics, but you said one thing I don't like. So you know what? I'm never going to listen to anything you say ever again. I have people do that. I have, that happens every now and then. I get somebody who says something like that. Well, Dre, I liked everything that you said and I followed you for 10 years, but now you said this one thing I don't like. So I'm unfollowing you. I'm like, what are you nine years old? All right. If that's the way that you think, then good leave. All right, you shouldn't have been in my audience in the first place, but I would like to think that most of you don't think that way. I would hope that, but maybe I'm wrong, but we'll see. Only time will tell. The whole point is I talk about the things that are actually on my mind that I'm actually thinking about because besides the stuff that I do when I'm on this mic, I actually am a human being just like you and I think about stuff other than work. I don't only think about the stuff that I sell 24 hours a day. I'm not always only thinking about my next podcast episode or the next book that I'm gonna write or somebody that I'm coaching. I'm, as a human being, just like you, I have other things in my mind, other things that I pay attention to. So as a thought leader, I talk about these things. Everybody get it? So that's why I talk about stuff that is not specifically my quote unquote topic. Uh, there's nothing about Kanye West or Kyrie Irving situation that I had to sell to you, but I talk about it because I'm thinking about it. Moving on to point number two. Today's topic, once again, is how to put personality in your content. Number two, 
I'm an individual who has no problem, as I said, saying things that some people disagree with because I'm willing to stand on what I believe and I'm willing to defend any point that I make, which I think most of you know. And I also don't have a problem with somebody deciding that they don't like me anymore because they disagree with something that I said. Again, hopefully many of you can disagree with something that I said. It doesn't mean you're going to just mentally cancel out everything else that I've said just because you disagree with one thing. Hopefully none of you has that affliction, but I know some human beings do. Not everybody has an internal fortitude to conduct business in this manner, the way that I just described. That you're willing to talk about stuff, especially in the thought leadership space, where you're putting your thoughts out there every single day, where somebody can question you, somebody can try to uh, get you, hit you with a gotcha point, somebody can try to tell you why you're wrong, somebody can you know, attack you for whatever reason based on your thoughts and the way you put your words together. Uh, you do have to be good with your words here and you better be uh, precise in what you're saying these days with the way that people are, especially when you talk about certain hot button issues, which I have done many times. Not everyone who's in the thought leadership space has the internal fortitude to do this. So I'm not telling all of you that you have to be this way. And most of you probably wouldn't even if I told you to. And that's, cause that, and that's completely okay. But here's what you should decide. What you are gonna share, how much of it you're gonna share, because the people who are following you wanna know where you stand. They wanna know what you're about. They wanna know where you're at. Especially in the world that we live in today, where social media has allowed all of us to share our thoughts and our business with the world. Whether you're an audience or you're the person on the stage. And that doesn't mean you have to do it, but social media allows you to do it and they actually want you to do it. Because the more you share, usually the more likely you're gonna stay around. And the more you stay around, the more they can monetize your time and attention for their own purposes. I talked about this in episode 1690, the deep secret that the social media platforms don't really want you to know, what they are really doing to make money. Are you, any of you wonder why social media is free yet it's so popular? How are they making money? Where they're giving it to you for free. Oh, they're, they're monetizing you, you just don't know how they're monetizing you. Listen to episode 1690 where I explained it to you in detail. So, here's the point. Because social media allows you to share your business, you don't have to do it, but you must be aware that some of your competitors, thought leaders, coaches, speakers, consultants, trainers, authors, some of your competitors are letting their audience know where they stand. And these days, let me tell you something that's very important. This is something that I didn't think was a thing, but I heard somebody say this a few years ago, and as I thought about it since then, I realized that it's actually true. Here's the thing. A lot of consumers these days, that means people like you, and I'm a consumer as well. Right now, I'm the producer. But when I listen to somebody else's show, I'm a consumer. Right now, you're a consumer listening to me. A lot of consumers decide who they buy from, not based on who has the best product, not on the a quality comparison between my offer and the next guy's offer. You know how they decide who they're gonna buy from? They buy things from people who they connect with on a personal level. This is a big thing these days. Social media has cultivated this type of, um, let's just say mindset, for lack of a better term. Social media has created this to where people buy based on who they connect with on a personal level. Even if your stuff is not as good as the person across the street, if I connect with you more than I connect with the person across the street, I'm gonna buy from you. And I'm connecting with you not because I shook your hand and met you, I'm connecting with you because I'm listening to what you're saying on Instagram and I'm, listening, I'm reading the posts that you write on Facebook and I'm looking at what you put up on TikTok and that's how I'm deciding if I like you or not on a personal level. I'm thinking about you on a, not your business, I'm talking about your personality, what you put out there, what you talk about. Oh, you're married? All right, I, I relate to you because you're married. Oh, you have kids? I relate to you because you have kids. Oh, you believe in, you like this side of this argument and not this side of the argument. I don't like that, so I'm gonna go to this person over here. Oh, I like your argument on this point, so I'm gonna come back to you. That's how people are making their decisions to buy these days. And I talk to, I've been in mastermind groups with people who are, I'm talking about serious business people. These are people who are earning at least $150,000 a year. And they will say things like, look, I join programs and I sign up for courses and I go to conferences of, I look into the person who's running it and I look at what their beliefs are on these three to five points. And if I align with them on these three points, then I go to their conference. But if I don't align with them on these points, I won't go to their conference. I won't join their program. I won't sign up for their course. I hear, I'm talking about serious full-time business people. I've heard them say this. I don't make my decisions that way, but a lot of consumers do. So those of you who are thought leaders, you need to keep this in mind that people are gauging you and they're, they're looking for this. They want to know. Where do you stand on these subjects? And if you're the type of person who doesn't really put yourself out there and talk about these things, that's fine too. I'm not saying that you're wrong, but I want you to understand there are some prospects of yours, they're not buyers, but prospects who will not buy from you until they know where you stand on certain subjects. And if you don't say, because you're staying out of it, 
your competitor who will say where they stand, they might take that prospect from you and that person will become their customer because you didn't say anything. I'm not telling you that you have to start doing this. I'm just letting you know what's happening. I'm just, I'm just laying out the landscape for you and letting you know that this is a real thing, that this is really taking place, that people are making their decisions based on what are your personal views on subjects X, Y, and Z, and they will decide based on your stance on those subjects whether they're gonna deal with you or not. So if you're not opening yourself up to be connected with on a personal level, you might be leaving money and opportunity and therefore customers on the table. And your competitors, oh, they will gladly pick up those customers that you left. Point number three, today's topic once again is how to put personality in your content. And I meant to refer to you all a couple episodes where I talked about personality. Let me tell you those now. I should have told you at the top of the episode. Episode 2144, three brand personality types and how to use them. That's episode 2144. Episode 878, I told you that the key for personal branding is to have personality. So any of you want to build a personal brand, especially in the thought leadership space, you got to actually share some personality so people uh, know who you are and know what you're about. Now moving on to point number three. No matter how hard you try, you will not have everybody in the world relating to you, liking to you, liking you, connecting with you, or wanting to buy from you, no matter how hard you try. Did everybody hear that? You will never get everybody to like you. Everybody will not connect with you. Everybody will not buy into you, even if you try really hard to get them to. So even those of you who are trying to stay neutral, you won't touch any hot button issues, you don't share your perspectives on certain subjects because you don't want to piss anybody off, understand there are people who are still not gonna buy into you even if you say nothing on these subjects. There are people who won't buy into you because you won't say anything on these subjects. Y'all see this out here. I mean, y'all use social media, do you not? Do you hear people say things like silence is violence? I don't agree with that, but I, do you hear people saying it? Okay. There are people out there who will be mad at you if you won't say anything about a subject. There'll be people out there who'll be mad at you no matter what you say about a subject. You cannot get everybody to like you. Even I think some people subconsciously are trying this and it's not going to work no matter how hard you try. The biggest mistake that a lot of thought leaders make is just trying to stay neutral so that you can't piss nobody off. And so that nobody dislikes you and you think everybody will relate to you because you won't talk about a certain subject. That's a failing strategy because there are people out here who are very passionate about certain subjects. And if you won't share where you stand, they won't like you because you won't share where you stand. So when you're trying to be somebody to everybody, you are nothing to no one. Any of you heard that before? You'll hear it again. Every time you share some of your personality, you open yourself up to some people who are, won't like it, and you also open yourself up to people who will like it. They're gonna come deeper into your world because they decided that they like you even more now that they know what you've shared. This is life. This is how life works. Every time you share your opinion on something, there are some people who will hate you for having that opinion, there are other people who will love you for having that opinion, but if you try to be neutral, then you're nobody to nobody. So we happen to be talking about business here, folks, but notice everything I'm talking about here today applies to everybody, even if you don't have a business. Uh, you don't have to be a business owner to use this. You don't have to be in the thought leadership space to use this. You don't ever have to even have put your face on the internet to use what I'm talking about right here. This applies to all of life and all business, no matter how you're doing it, whether you work at a job, whether you're the you're in the C-suite at a company, whether you're a thought leader, whether you got a side hustle, all business is P2P, person to person. And people do business with people who they relate with, who they relate to. So all of this stuff matters no matter what kind of work you're doing. Again, I targeted this to the thought leaders. This actually applies to all of you. So with that said, let's recap today's class, which says how to put personality in your content. Listen to episode 878 about uh, having a personality for personal branding. Also episode 2144. Point number one, don't talk only about your topic. Now, when you're a thought leader, people want to know what you think, and they do not want to hear about your thing, the thing that you sell. Nobody thinks about it as often as you think about it. So do not uh, fall into the trap of thinking that that's the only thing people want to hear about from you because that becomes boring. It'll be boring to them, and it's also boring to you because do you only think about what you do for a living all day? No, you got opinions on other things. Talk about those things. People want to know. Point number two. I'm a person who has no problem saying things that some people disagree with because I'm willing to stand on it, and I'm also able to verbally defend myself. In, in writing and in spoken word in anything that I said. And there are some people who won't like it. And there are some of you who are thought leaders who don't have the internal fortitude to do that. And I'm not saying that you need to do it, but I want you to understand that what social media has done is allow all of us to share our thoughts. And a lot of people make their buying decisions based on who they like personally, based on what you have shared. So if you don't share anything, then 
but someone who has shared something can steal that possible customer from you, even if you have a better product. Keep that in mind. Point number three, no matter how hard you try, you will not have everyone in the world relating to you or liking you. And yeah, when you open yourself up, you also open yourself up the possibility of pissing somebody off. Remember what I told you in episode 2174. There are no perfect outcomes, folks. There are only trade-offs. There is nothing you can do where things are gonna work out perfect. Just decide which trade-offs you're willing to make. The trade-off I'm willing to make is I will talk about any subject, and if you don't like it, so what? That's the trade-off that I'm willing to make. You got to decide what trade-off you are willing to make. Because every time you share something in your personality, you're opening yourself up to someone who may not like it. And this is life, folks. This is not business that I'm talking about. This is life. And business is just part of life. All right, so this applies to everybody, even if you don't have a business. All that said, text me to get my daily motivation free of charge straight to your phone. My number is 305-384-6894. And all you business people serious about increasing your income and business, because that's the only reason we're in business, right? Make more money. If you want to make more money in your business and you want to do it without running yourself into the ground and you don't need and you don't want to have to get 10 times smarter to do your business or motivate it or any of that nonsense, go to workonyourgame.net. I will give you free 45 minute training to explain to you how to actually do this. There's a system to it. And at the end of that training, any of you who's interested in being coached by me and working with me directly, if you, at the end of that training, there's a button that's gonna pop up and let you pick a time on my schedule and we will talk directly about how we can actually implement this in your business. I can tell you what it looks like, how it will go, there's no obligation. And if I can help you, I'll tell you what it looks like. If I can't help you, I'll tell you that as well. That's all at workonyourgame.net. Work on your game. Dre all day.